Being fit and healthy is very important to fight the COVID-19, isn't it? Okay, so suppose that Ma'am Gina, before ECQ, rode in a bicycle and went to Tagaytay City. Oh, layo na, no? Kaya ko rin kaya yun. Lodi ko na si Ma'am Gina. She felt exhausted and hungry. So, she ordered the following a meal in a famous restaurant. Tinola, banana, a cup of rice, and a bottle of water. Oh, iba. Healthy diet si ma'am. The teller confirms her order and asks, Ma'am, is it a cup of rice, banana, tinola, and water? Pasamantala na tigil na si ma'am kasi nagkabali-balikad. Are the orders the same or not? So, let's find out. Hello guys! Today, we are going to explore the world of combinations. After this lesson, you are expected to first, differentiate combination from permutation. Second, find the number of combination of n objects taken r at a time. And third, solve problems involving combinations. Okay, first, let us review about permutation. When you say permutation, it is an arrangement of outcomes in which order does matter. While combination is an arrangement of outcomes in which order does not matter. So if we are going to go back with the situation earlier, so taking an order of tinola, cup of rice, banana, and bottle of uh, water, it's the same as taking an order of banana, tinola, bottled water, and cup of rice. Meaning, order does not matter. So, it involves combination. Yes, For example, so let us determine whether the situation involves a combination or not. Selecting 10 HPTA precedents from 63 sections and 5 teachers from 81 faculty members who will comprise the Glove Chance GPTA officers. So, if we're going to select HPTA president 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's the same as HPTA 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, meaning order does not matter, so it is combination. Okay, for second example, choosing 5 marbles from a chart of 10 marbles. So, if we're going to choose marble number 1, or marble, marble number 2, or mar marble number 3, 4, and 5, it's also the same as choosing a marble number 4, a marble number 3, a marble number 2, or a marble number 1. So meaning, order does not matter, so it involves combination. Example number 3. Choosing the winners of Miss Grand International 2021 among the 60 lovely candidates. Recently, Miss USA was crowned as Miss Grand International while our very own candidate, Miss Philippines, Samantha Bernardo, was crowned as a first runner-up and Miss Guatemala as second runner-up. Is it the same as uh, what if Miss Philippines uh, won the Miss Grand International, Miss USA is the first runner-up, and uh, Miss Guatemala is second runner-up? So are they the same? Of course not. So it means that it is not combination. It refers on permutation. The number of combinations of n objects taken r at a time is given by the formula n factorial all over the quantity of n minus r factorial times r factorial where n is greater than or equal to r. So other symbol of uh, combination is ncr. So in your calculator, you can see an ncr if not, syempre nasa kabite tayo, yung lang. Or it could be uh, in this way. Okay, so it refers on combination. Other solution for combination is combination of n taken r at a time is equal to the permutation of n taken r at a time divided by r factorial. Example, let us get the combination of 6 taken 3 at a time. So using the formula, n equals 6 and r is equal to 3. So we have 6 factorial all over the quantity of 6 minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial. Then, let us express 6 factorial as 6 times 5 
times 4 times 3 factorial divided by 6 minus 3 is 3 factorial and then another 3 factorial and 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial is 1 and 3 factorial is equal to 6 so we could cancel it out with uh, 6 then just get the product of 5 times 4 is equal to uh, 20 so therefore the combination of 6 taken 3 at a time equals 20 another solution is this one so combination is the permutation of 6 taken 3 at a time divided by r factorial okay so the easiest way in order to get the permutation is that uh, multiply the decreasing numbers starting from 6 uh, 3 numbers because r is equal to 3 so just multiply 6 times 5 times uh, 4 so that is already equivalent to the permutation of 6 taken 3 at a time then just divided by r factorial which is a 3 factorial then 6 divided by 3 factorial is equal to up because 3 factorial is only equal to a 6 then just multiply 5 times 4 then the value is equal to uh, 20 For example uh, the combination of 8 taken 2 at a time Mathematical techniques that 8 times 7 why? because uh, with n is equal to uh, 8 then r is equal to 2 then uh, just multiply uh, decreasing order I started from 8 2 numbers meaning 8 times 7 na lang then divided by the 2 factorial then 2 factorial is only equal to 2 then 8 times 7 is 56 divided by 2 then we have equal to 28 okay number 3 in how many ways can a committee of 4 be formed from 8 people so selecting um, for example uh, person number 1 2 3 and 4 is the same as selecting uh, 4 3 2 and uh, 1 so meaning order of selecting people is not important so it involves combination so if we're going to get n n is equal to uh, 8 and then r is equal to 4 okay so getting uh, the combination of 8 taken 4 at a time so our technique is that multiply 8 starting from 8 how many numbers 4 so 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 so there are 4 numbers 1 2 3 4 in decreasing order then divided divided by 4 factorial and then 4 factorial can be expressed as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 then by cancellation we can cancel out 4 times 2 is equal to 8 and then 3 is divided by divided by um, 3 then uh, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 then just multiply 2 times 5 is 10 times 7 then we have 7 example number 4 5 points are arranged on a circle how many different triangles are there whose three verses are among those five points? So if we're going to uh, plot the points, for example, A, B, C, D, and E, so five points in a circle, then we are going to make a triangle. So selecting triangle A, B, and E is the same as uh, writing the triangle as E, A, and B or triangle uh, A, E, and B. So meaning, order of the verses are not important so it involves combination. So means, we are going to get the combination of 5 taken 3 at a time. So using the formula, we have N is equal to 5 then R is equal to 3. So we have a 5 factorial all over the quantity of 5 minus 3 factorial R factorial so we have a 3 factorial then 5 can be expressed as the product of 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 5 minus a 3 is 2 factorial and then another 3 factorial so 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial is 1 then 2 factorial is only 2 then we can multiply 5 times 4 is 20 divided by 2 equals 10 or uh, for our um, mathematical techniques so just multiply a 5 times 4 times uh, 3 because n is equal to a uh, 3 uh, r is equal to 3 so we have 5 times 4 times 3 then divided by 3 factorial so 3 factorial is 3 times uh, 2 then we could cancel out uh, 3 and 3 then 5 times 4 is 20 divided by 2 then that is also equal to uh, 10 so guys I hope you learned something about uh, combinations according to Paul Halmos the best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. So, see you on the next episode of Teaching Rail. Bye-bye.